Yep, recording. We're here with Thierry Dumaine, the national coach of the French team. Thierry, um, what was it like to lead the French team at the last World Cup in 2008? Uh, in 2008, I was assistant of uh, John Mooney for the national team. It's a very big experience for player because the World Cup for rugby league is the best competition in the world for every nation. And uh, we are d disappointed with the result because uh, we not uh, go to the objective. But we look forward now to uh, work a lot to have a better World Cup in a. Uh, 2013, yes, and uh, now is Bobby Goulding, uh, Englishman with culture, and uh, he works a lot with uh, with me, like uh, to make a link with uh, all the young player or young talent player to try to select them and to push them to the World Cup. Okay, as you mentioned the young players, um, what is rugby league like in France in terms of um, the domestic situation? Do you have a lot of high schools playing? Is it in universities? What is it like in France? Uh, in France, uh, the system is uh, with uh, w federation work with ministry and we have a free high school where the, we have 90% of the player we play for under 16, under 19, and under 19 national team, and they make part school, half school, and half rugby league. And uh, after that, we have uh, a process with a country competition, and uh, make a selection to come in this centre. And after we compete with uh, England, Wales. Australia and uh, for the last two seasons we have a good improvement for results and uh, for example we beat two times the under 16 with your team last April and for us it's a very big performance because in France rugby league is amateur we have only one team who play for Super League competition the Dragon near Perpignan after all the domestic comp is a uh, Amateur competition. Amateur competition. Yes. Okay. What has the experience been like um, for you here in England? You're here with uh, maybe 20 other nations who are playing rugby league. Tell us, you have been really helping us, helping out the coaches, showing us techniques and instructing us. What has this experience been like for you with all these many nations playing rugby league now? Uh, for me, the most important is. Uh, World Rugby League development, and uh, if I well understand your question, uh, it, for me, I work with uh, the Serbian for the last um, two years ago. Sorry, for the under 16 European competition, and I just try to they ask some mix something, and I try to give some advice, and I'm very enjoy with uh, this camp because. Uh, is a 90 different country. Everybody have the same langu language as rugby league, and uh, we have a very good atmosphere and good spirit. And uh, from the coaches, it's very important to stay in link to each other, try to give an help and improve all the nation. Yeah, improve the game. If you had any advice for a Jamaican player, living in Jamaica right now, who is playing rugby league, what advice would you give to that player? Uh, I want to tell to them that if, if I compete to, to be select for the World Cup, uh, the most quality is uh, humility, respect and uh, bravery. And after, be strong and play together. Good. The most important things I think in the rugby league. And and when when France faces Jamaica in the finals <laughs> of the 2013 World Cup, who will win? Uh, you know, I hope we win. But if before I can to help you to improve, <laughs> I'm enjoy too if you can. Win. <laughs> the good answer. Very good answer. Diplomat. Thank you very much, Thierry. Thank you. Cheers. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Well, there you have it, um, a, a concise interview with the assistant national coach for the French team. 
um, giving good words of advice to the players back home in Jamaica. So boys, um, 2013, Jamaica versus France in the finals, here we come.